All right. Whew. What's up, y'all? It's uh, Coach Professor Will here, and I've uh, got two things going on today. Uh, first of all, I've got a new microphone that I'm testing out. So we got the DJI uh, Mic 2, and uh, we are testing it on the internal record mode um, with noise reduction on. Uh, if I remember, I'll try to turn the noise reduction off mid-video and see if that makes a difference. Uh, but I'm going to have to integrate the audio into the X4 video. Um, as a backup, I am recording audio on the X4. But for this YouTube video, uh, all of the audio is going to be coming straight from the DJI uh, internal recording mode. So that's uh, the first thing we got going on. Second thing we got going on is I am in new skate. And they probably don't look that new to you guys, but they are smaller than what I have been skating in recently. So I downsized my shells and liner size, um, and it's a whole uh, story on why I did that. <laughs> but uh, let me go ahead and uh, tell you a little bit about uh, my first pair of FR skates and my next couple pairs and what led me to uh, all the way down to a size 40 shell with an intuition liner. And this is a perfect fit, by the way. Um, anyways, in the very beginning, when I started, I, uh, you know, skate sizing is confusing in the beginning. I think most of us can agree to that. Uh, I thought that you bought skates based off of your shoe size. So I'm 11, 11 and a half uh, shoe size. I went with an 11 and a half pair of FR1s and an 11 and a half pair of FRXs. That's my first two pairs of real skates, right? And um, these, uh, the uh, shell size was a 47 on those. So 11.5 uh, mins, that's a size 45 euro, but the shell size is a 47. So that's 300 millimeter insole length. Uh, too big for me. I figured that out pretty quickly within a month or two of riding on those. And then I ordered a size 44 shell with an Intuition 28, 28.5. Um, seeing as I thought that my foot was about 28 centimeters. And there's a whole story to that. Uh, you know, if I'm gonna spoil that, my feet are not 28 centimeters, I found out just recently. Um, so going off of about 278 millimeter, 276 millimeter, I thought my foot sizes were, I bought the size 44 shell FR1, which has a 290 millimeter uh, internal length. I figured that, you know, if my foot is 280 millimeters, then a centimeter gives me space for a liner and, you know, maybe just a tad bit wiggle room. Um, so I bought a couple pairs um, in that setup, and I've been skating that way for the last five months or so. Um, come to find out recently, I found out that my feet are actually 269 millimeters and 268 millimeters. And the way that I figured that out was that I broke my, I fractured my toe, right toe recently, the proximal phalanx of the right halix. Um, and during the two weeks of recovery, it's been three weeks since, I'm fine now. Um, I was curious to see if my foot was wide or not. So I got out the piece of paper, you know, did the Mondo point measurement, um, excuse me, like a uh, typical, right? Heel against the wall, socks on, uh, lean forward just a little bit. Um, and during measuring my width, which I found out I'm pretty average to slim average size on width, I noticed that the length of my foot was about a centimeter away from the edge of the paper. And I know that a piece of paper, you know, a printer 11 by 8.5 is uh, roughly 28 centimeters. So I was like, what the hell? Uh, so I checked again, 
and again and again and about 50 times. And I came out to the conclusion that my feet are a centimeter shorter than I have thought for the last seven months. Rookie mistake. Uh, two things factored into that. I was misreading my um, measuring tape, right? I misread the measuring tape by 0.5 centimeters, and that's just due to me being dumb, hasty. Um, the tick marks are kind of weird on the scale, but that's really not a good excuse. I just kind of messed up there. So there's 0.5 centimeters off, and then the other 0.5 centimeters comes from when I first started skating, I thought that Mondo Point was you measure your foot and then you add 0.5 centimeters to it. That's what I thought. And that's true if you have like a wide foot, um, you know, a particularly wide foot. Um, but that shouldn't have been the case for me. So for the last seven months, I've just had in my head that my feet are 278 and 276 millimeters when in fact they're 269, 268 millimeters. Oops. So uh, after I figured that out, uh, I took out the liners out of my 44, put my foot into the shell, which I'd never done, and noticed I had about an inch of clearance uh, from the back of my heel to the heel of the skate. So they've been comfy. My foot hasn't been slipping around in the 44s. Uh, I haven't really broken some of the pairs in that I bought, really. Um, but I decided I wanted to downsize the shell uh, for energy transfer, um, you know, just because that's the way it's supposed to be uh, for a performance fit, right? So I went with the 40 shell. The 40 shell is 270 millimeters. Uh, however, uh, that's the insole length. You get a little bit of extra length inside the toe and the heel, um, maybe three to five millimeters or so. Um, so my foot 269 millimeters um, and I have maybe, you know, half a centimeter of space or so all together. Um, so my wife is a size 40 in the FR2, so I was able to take out her liners, her stock FR1 liners and mess around with the shell. And, uh, you know, I did the research and uh, came to the conclusion that that this is the size. This is like the minimum size that I can fit in uh, potentially. And they feel excellent. I've uh, put in about 20 hours into these so far. I did about 17 hours in the rink on the Arc CS frames. And I've done about three or four hours here on the Endless 90 uh, frames. Uh, but the energy transfer is the first thing that I noticed um, being different and being a huge improvement uh, over the size 44s. So I had to take a little bit of a loss on buying all those uh, buying a few pair of 44 size boots and intuitions. Um, but I've sold most of them already on eBay for a good chunk. So, you guys recording me, I think. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's my story. That's my mistakes. Hopefully you learn from my mistakes. Um, took me seven months to get into a performance fit into a true performance fit, but I'm here. And as far as pressure points, I'm lucky that my foot's kind of on the slim uh, average width. I don't have any pressure points in these guys. I mean, the intuitions, they're stiff when you first get them. The first few hours that you're breaking them in, a little bit of stiff, but uh, after 20 hours, I can definitely tell a difference in the flexibility of the intuitions. So, um, but if you have any questions about downsizing your shell or anything about downsizing mine, whatever, let me know in the comments. If you've had experience with downsizing your own shell, uh, it'd be great to hear from you and hear your experience as well. So, uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. So, Sage, we're back. <laughs>
So I uh, forgot to, uh, before I ended the first video, I forgot to set this to uh, not on noise reduction mode. So we're still on internal recording on the DJI. Uh, however, uh, we are not on noise reduction mode. I really want to see if this, uh, you know, what the difference is. So uh, as far as the microphone, uh, I got the idea specifically from Urban Assault. They are uh, a YouTuber who uh, does inline skating and uh, also gym workouts and stuff. Uh, seemed like a really fun uh, group of guys. Uh, hopefully soon I can make it to New Mexico and skate with you guys. Uh, but anyways, they, they had a video with uh, using the DJI mic and I asked them what they were using uh, and they let me know. Um, because I thought the audio quality sounded great. Uh, it's on their uh, Dallas trip uh, recent video. I'll uh, put a link to that in the uh, description. But whew, shout out to Urban Assault. Oh man, I've been out here for like three hours now. <laughs> I've been skating a long time. I'm getting a little bit tired. Whew. 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 Oh man, these skates feel so nice. Again, I can't believe the difference between size 44 and 40. Whew. All right, I think that's good enough to test the audio on uh, non-noise reduction mode. So now I will end the video. So thanks for watching. Whew. We will see you guys later. Let me know in the comments uh, if the audio sounds better, worse, uh, which version, noise reduction mode, non-noise reduction mode. I'd really appreciate it. Also, if you want to share uh, your story about uh, downsizing your shells, uh, if you have a story to share or any questions about downsizing your skates, let me know in the comments. But either way, we'll see you guys later.